as we don't have to wait much longer. T-side start for Big Omen Academy. And then we go. Stralis Talon, heavy ramp set up on the pistol round. Bigger rushing A though, they want nothing to do with it. It will have to be a retake setup. These rounds are not easy to coordinate or to even pick up as a CT side. And it's going to be made worse by the fact that Vesta has been tapped through the smoke. You need a flash, you need a kit, and Astralis have both of those, but do they have the metal? I like it. I like that we're seeing them attempt this strategy, right? The uh, the retake, flash, and smoke set up. And oh, they even pounce on Aqua as he's wrapping outside. Now this flash does have to come, and there it is. It goes in, but no one's blind in the sight. Big Omen Academy still able to fight with these Glocks up close, and it's Lapex and Prime Taps trying to hold on. They do lose Lapex, and so now we're looking at our mate Prime Taps here. Woo! Ooh, nice little headshot. Woo! Oh. A double kill, baby. Prime Taps living up to his name. He finished that game yesterday, by the way. Uh, I saw the, the the big social media posted about it. I think he was up at something like 84% headshot percentage. Whoa. So he certainly Holy. lives up to his name. He's rivaling he? you there, yeah, I think. Yeah, I love it. I love it. We need more CS pros that are dedicated to the fine art of headshotting and headshotting only. Yeah, Astralis reinvented the game with utility back in the day. But give me some of that scream energy, man. Give me some of that, some of that twists energy. Some of that, yeah, I have utility, but I'm not using it because I'm just going to shoot you in the mouth energy. Yeah, well, Prime Taps is full of it. A couple of clicks for the pistol round. A big take the first. They're running outside as well. Apex leading the charge and already done some good damage. The nades will be enough to finish it off. Got a secret player coming up from below and another behind the garage to worry about. Maybe that's info they have, and now they definitely do not for tapping and doing more with the Deagles is Vesta as well. He'll finally be put down, but still three CTs with their eyes on the prize outside. Off they go on, and that heaven player dropped into the bomb site looking to commit towards A. Big will be coming their way. Blaved moving in. Oh, these Deagles, these Danish Deagles, well, they're pretty good, but they're not going to be able to win the round unless Vigo can drop the bomb. Oh, he's done it. There's a gun at his feet as well, but he's going to stick with the pistol, and Aqua takes the headshot fast. Oh, my goodness. Those Deags almost get out of control, but instead, Big Omen Academy steal away a conversion, and now it should be a lot easier with USPs on the CT side. Oh, oh, I just heard we're going to listen to the Astralis comms this round. Let's see what they've got to say. No time here. Let's go. The Nether down. Nether down, yeah. Back center. He's still holding. Flash in again here. Back center, Dinger. Up. First station. Two, three. That's four center. You have just sent us it up. Yeah, just sent us it up. The fine boys. There are some new boys. Come on. Be ready to clap on the fucking hardy ramp and A here. Ja, ja, ja. Jeg kom med gate. I mean, it was never meant to be pretty. No, it was it never was, gonna sound that yeah. that great. It was only know? USPs. And at least it's quick. Spirits sound high, right? Lots of communication, lots of people talking, and they're ready. They are raring to go. And go they shout into their first gun round now as finally the money is built up. Reassuring the big, despite you know losing four players in that second round of the map, they take a clean anti-eco there, so they're going to be able to somewhat hold their economy above water. They on the door. Don't know how that misses. Don't know what happened there, but quite a calamity inside of lobby. AWP available here for Void as well. He actually did look really good up against Fury Academy. Was in, uh, over uh, Vertigo that they played. Astralis were the one leaning in to pick that map. Full smokes outside. Void could go for random shots, but instead he goes back up heaven and allows Big to cross. They walk close to the smoke to avoid the AWP. They're further back by the fence. Maybe the AWP can see them, depending. And so sneaky, sneaky down to B go big. They've given no warning about how many players are in lower right now. Astralis have not rotated a single soul. They don't seem convinced by just smokes.
Yeah, Big Omen Academy almost feels surprised that they've gotten this much real estate for free. You know, oftentimes you would have met some resistance at this point. And so maybe now they're getting paranoid about the B site and thinking, oh, well, maybe someone's playing it fast and loose, you know, up on Zantares. They're spamming some of these spots to try and clear them out. But no, boys, B is empty. And, and I am just as surprised as you are by that. They finally clear everything. And they're now going, oh, they are actually just letting us have this. Got a part, though. Time's ticking. 10 seconds. Toxic stick does come down. And Astralis, I mean, they don't actually have a kit in this round. That's the weirdest part. They completely conceded B, and now they've got to go back in with time not to their favor. Flash blinds Void, and he even blocks the Molotov going back away. It's got, not gone well here for Astralis, but they're going to commit anyway. Down into B, trades are going in, favoring Astralis. Someone needs to stick the bomb, though, with a 10-second stick, and that orb shot missing. It's going to get problematic. Double kill from Big. Coming in quick and Orglave just trying to hold on to the round. He needs this. Now he needs to get them off the bomb. The stick's coming in. Maybe a knife time. It's ah! getting close, but he's run right by him. Ah! Oh no! Why'd they only give him the safety scissors? He's missed the stab. And Astralis Talent get the round. Oh, he ran right through that little gap in between the wall and his opponent. He'd already shot it, but he wasn't convinced. No kit, no problem, Harry. That's what I say. A full 5v5 retake in the lower site. Astralis, nothing about that round was made easy for them, right? They they mollied themselves off on the choke point. They didn't have the diffuser. They didn't have a single rotate down lower. And none of that mattered. What does matter, however, is the fact that despite winning the round, they lose all five players. So this can be an immediate reset for Big, and that's that's the biggest motivator here, knowing that not only is this buy worse than the previous four Astralis talent, but if you can convert, well, it's back to nothing. Yeah, Savoid's so watching this main cross, and we've got a secret player well in advance this time for Astralis Talent. A lot more emphasis around the idea of fighting for this outside control in this round. Vesta taking a peek nice. is good for that kill. He gets out of there. Oh. Almost, almost caught his big Owen main, but he's able to tuck himself in at the CT vent. It's a. Uh, Total recall on the uh, Pencil Vesta toys down towards Secret. He's getting out of there and setting himself up down towards B while the rest of Astralis talent are all finding success oh. out here in the yard. There's a bit of a response from Glaive, but he's traded off the one. And so it's left to Nick in this one on four. Yeah, not been made easy for him. And it won't get any easier either. Astralis, they crush big despite having a very, you know, weak buy as far as rifle rounds are concerned. It's one way to get it on the board. Don't have the free orb though. Haven't retrieved that. Big's opportunity to reset is lost as well. And I like this cam shot. We get to see inside of the Astralis uh, talent boot camp here. I'm sure Astralis is all very hands on with this team right now. They know what they've got. And that could be the potential for something incredible in years gone by. Just have to see if it comes to light. Man, one of the one of the things that's so great, uh, you know, about about this academy league as a whole, and and, and this is for the people watching, right? Um, is you know these these are like young players who haven't had all this exposure to the top level yet, and so if someone impresses you, I really implore you to to you know give them a follow, send them some nice words, because these guys are brand new to this in a sense, right? Like they're. They haven't been at it for years at the top levels. They don't have tens of thousands of people digging them up every day, right? Little nice words from the folks watching at home can make their oh. day. And hell, dude, with Aqua getting entries like that, maybe he's someone you go, yeah, man, I've been impressed with Aqua. I'll go give him a follow. I'll go give him a, you know, my my words of love. I'm saying all this because, you know, Regali was well happy with uh, 
with how much everyone got behind him in that last game. And I tell you what, man, we, we've been very impressed with the level of Counter-Strike we've had out of these teams. There's definitely some players that are starting to emerge as these like reoccurring stars. Yeah, and you know, we're going to get quite the test as well, right? But this is only day two and we're already seeing some immense players. So, you know, how, how good are they going to look by the end of things? And on the flip side, maybe there's some people struggling. I mean, Regali even mentioned in his tweets earlier, Harry, that, oh, you know, as, as of yesterday, oh, he was a bit nervous coming into that first game. He was slow to start. And I imagine that's the case for a lot of people here. Yeah. I mean, a lot of, you know, we have people from the age of 16 plus playing uh, playing this tournament. A lot of 16-year-olds, a lot of 18-year-olds. So no surprise that some of these guys are nervous. Uh, if you've ever played any form of competitive Counter-Strike pass pugging, to any degree that is, right? You're going to get a little bit, yeah. whoa, okay, this is real now. Like, I mean, bro, for people who, who even just play CS casually, right? Like when you're in the clutches in pugs, that's nerve-wracking yeah, enough. Imagine when there's, you know, thousands of dollars on the line and it's, you know, there's also thousands of people watching you. It's a very different vibe. But yeah, because of how long this event is, you know, if, if someone does start slow, if someone is having nerves and stuff and they ha have maybe a couple of bad maps to begin the event, there is so much time and so much room for them to turn around and, and show us, no, okay, look, don't don't judge me on my opening two maps. Yeah. I, I am actually a capable player. Well, I have more to show you. Plus, it's a very cool feeling to feel like you were one of the first people to get on board with like a breakout player, right? Like that is a, it, it's not, it's not something that you get many opportunities at, right? Like, you know, the old OG Zywoo fan club group of people who were insistent yeah. that he was the next big thing. They must feel great after backing their man for so long. Here we go, though. We have a bit of a rifle round for both teams. Four to two. Big up and not out of the woods. And moving into ramp, Altex is here. Nice little off angle as well. He's going to drop as a flash comes in. He can retreat from this position, but he's going to grab a kill first. No more. Doesn't want to get ahead of himself. Fakes the retreat, though. He wanted to re-aggro with Void, who got mollied off. And Altex gets another. He's still here for a third, but that third will come in the form of a kill from Big. As uh, Now we're back into a three-on-three. -three. A pick from Aqua. Things starting to turn around here for Big Omen Academy. Wave spotted another. That could have been everything. That would have been the A site completely clear. Instead, Vess has come up the vent and he's given them a path to it anyway. Vigo trying to hold on. He didn't want them to drop. They had no uh, a chance to do so. Almost a lineup for Void, but only damage, only dinks, and nothing more. Big find five. And that's going to leave Astralis worse for wear. Really should be looking to half by here. Big's T side looks as rampant as I expected, despite Altex's best efforts. I do. I, do. I know you've already mentioned it, Hugo, but it is great to see, right, the Astralis Talent Bootcamp and how they're, they're given access to all these facilities, just like the main Astralis squad. I imagine it helps a great deal, right? Even even being like able to, if you're in a rough spot, look back, see that you've got your coach there, right? A guy who's worked intimately with you at getting everything sorted out. Uh, and so, you know, it, it kind of just feels like you at least have someone with maybe solutions in the room with you if things aren't going the way you want. Plus, we know Astralis are very, very uh, good at building these teams in the first place, right? Yeah. Like, just look at the main team. I shouldn't need to tell you anything that went on there. We all had to be subjected to the Astralis <laughs> era. <laughs> and what was going on in Counter-Strike at the time, man. Yeah, as glorious as it was. So, you know, they they, they know the, the what, what it takes to, to build yeah. strong foundations in a team, the protocols that should be set up. And, you know, some of the outside of the game things as well, because these do make massive differences, right? Just in terms of like knowing and getting on with your teammates, but even knowing and getting on with yourself, like psychologists, uh, you know, pe people like that, you know, um, I'm sure... Those are things that the Org of Astralis have yeah. available well, for so the players. This is something that like, we, we, we just, I've, I've spoke about a bit, and like I, I even joked about it when we were playing some games last night. I said that like, you know, you know, the idea of like, tilting in a competitive environment. You know, everyone, I think, thinks of like, the matchmaking tilt, where like people are raging at each other, and everyone's molded, and the atmosphere is just sour. 
I think in a competitive environment, it's different to that, right? It's more like you're, you're not your normal self. You kind of go a bit quiet. You get in your own head. These are all psychological factors that get in the way of you performing at your peak. And it's actually very, very challenging to even recognize when it's happening to you, let alone like how to actually correct it, right? The first step is admitting you're tilting. <laughs> it kind of is, right? It is like even even for people like Elise, who is someone at the top levels of NA Counter Strike, sure. he dedicated a large portion of his time to the psychological aspect of being a competitor. And like, what does it mean to to recognize tilt? How do I address that? How do I still be impactful in an environment where I'm not feeling 100 percent? And these are the things like sports psychologists, like all these little extras that have only started to appear in the last few years are able to help teams out with. And I especially think when you've got young inexperienced players you need that kind of guidance yeah well put and so you know something that uh especially a big org that is shelling out for a boot camp will be able to provide you would hope things like that fast down event for aqua guy who looked really impressive as well against navi jr in that opener the rest of the big are going to meet him on B. They're going to come through ramp. But Altex, as said has been damn good in this position he'll drop off after one this time doesn't want to go too far ahead. And they know about the vent drop. Look how aware he is. Often you would get flooded into this backstab of Aqua, but he seems aware. Even so, knowing won't stop the kill from coming in. Aqua grabs that through the window. Vigo's come down vent, but Aqua denies it. And now we can just set up shop in secret, make sure no more of these rotations are made down lower. He can hear anyone running above him. He's probably going to be, be able to call that they're saving at this point in time. Maybe not confirmed as the walk starts, but Aqua's on the backstab. Haha, <laughs> they find him. It was a nice try. He did hear them stepping briefly away, and Prime Taps knows it as well. Here he comes for the hunt. 3 1 Taps. You ready? Here it is. Prime Taps. A Z in the name, but this guy ain't caught sleeping. Prime at the front, but his account ain't verified. Look at him go. He's pushing up in through T spawn, and he's not going any further than this. So this <laughs> is actually the end of it. Prime taps. No taps more like in this one, as he just lets them get away with the save. You understand why. It's not actually worth, you know, throwing too much of your own money at the problem just yet. Great round out of Aqua. And Big Omen Academy continue to impress us, right? The, the, they, much like Fnatic Rising, didn't have a tremendous amount of team to get this, uh, tremendous amount of time to get this team together. There we go. I got the words the right way. call it team way. time, Harry. Team time. Team time. Yes. Job's done. Bring bomb. Team time. Right. Crossing void. Oh, this is madness. Bring the AWP out. And Glaive's already found one. He seems very cognizant that there could be more. The Molotov to stop that second player. But remember, there's a third main as well. He's locked in behind. He knows that he can't get out. And Glaive walks into the AWP instead. So something does come of that outside control, at least for Astralis. It sends Big Omen Academy out of the yard, back to the lobby. Grouping on ramp again. Altex, this is nice. He's got a very different spot as well. He's been bottom ramp all of these rounds. Now he's tucked. And with Void drawing in the attention, after he takes a shot, miss, miss or hit, they're not going to be clearing this close corner. They're going to be looking down the ramp. There's the shot. And into Altex they go. He gets a double. And Void repeats for the last. It could not have gone better there for Astralis. A perfect setup. And a nice change of positions as Big walk into the stack. Yeah, wonderful stuff, right? And and, it, and it's all worthwhile because it puts a stop to this streak as well. You kind of have a moment now to regain some composure and pick back up some momentum in this matchup. You know, we were on our way to what could have been a very one-sided first half here. And it's little momentum breaks like this that prove to matter a hell of a lot in the long run. Crucially as well, it was a pretty clean round as far as they go. And... Those matter a lot in terms of not just losing this out now and then having to take an eco. So you've got some resilience here if you're Astralis talent. A big have a lovely little nade stack. Oh, it's dodged. Ooh. Player on the site moves out just in time. Triple nades as well. Triple nade stack onto default. Now that's kind of yeah. gnarly. Funny that. Void's taking space. I like this move as well. Especially with the knowledge that your opponents were on roof. You know that 
you've got a bit of room and you're going to make the most of it. Void's been in a different spot every round, right? Crossing red, then going to ramp, now pushed in hut. Keeping big on their toes. And now this large, sneaky Omen Academy <laughs> have to creep their way down south. How on earth are they going to sneak an Omen Academy this large past these small smokes, though, Hugo? That's what I'm left to wonder. There you go. Now's not a time to, to marvel in awe at the sheer size of this Omen Academy, mate. You've got to hold on to lower. While all this is happening, Lapex is working this A-site, as we can see from this wonderful little picture in picture. Big O, not Whoa. crumbling, good for a double. Nice. And now you're in a bit of a weird spot. That's With fair. Lapex still on A, this yeah. bomb is going to go up the vent and join him. But the rotations can be quick from Astralis Talent, and there they are dropping the bomb in May. Oh dear, he's gone from bad to worse. He's going to run through the molly to get the bomb. He does live to tell the tale, but he won't be telling it to anyone but his teammates back in spawn as the time expires. Apex runs out of there, and there's not much Big can do in that round. They get mowed down by Vigo and B. It was just, uh, you know, patching up the wound by going up the vent there. If they could cross to the bomb, the cross to the bomb to the site, maybe there's hope, but in a pre-plant like that, never going to happen. Nice double from Vigo down on B as well. Astralis Talent building into it. Slow to start, but strong to finish. That's what you'd hope. Two rounds in a row. Finally doing some damage to Pig's economy as well. They all look very focused in. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out, right, if it's like a situation like with uh, other teams where it's all about like maintaining eye contact in the pauses, you know, and talking it out with one another. They all keep looking off somewhere, but <laughs> I don't know where they're looking. Someone's offering <laughs> yeah. words of advice. Someone's saying something. But uh, yeah, no, it's all well and good, right? They're, they're starting to grind away back into this. And still trying to uh, lay the foundations of a CT side. It's starting to come together. Void even taking some liberties now and coming in with this lobby aggression. You know, these are all little showings of increased confidence from Astralis talent. As a player pushed up here oh. in hot Altex, will he be ready for that? It's a bit of a weird angle, right? Not one that you're entirely certain on, but he'll catch oh. these players in back lobby. Yeah, the hot player surprises him. Aqua could make a round saving play if he's good for a oh. double, and he is. So now we're yes. back in with three on three. Forget the heroics into the lobby from Altex. It's all about Aqua. And this three on three no now way. turning against Astralis. The push no from Void way. canceled out. Aqua having a hell of a round. The reads from this guy, four kills, cementing 15 on the board for him individually and eight for Big Omen Academy. I got so scared there with that lobby push as well, especially when you think like bigger thinking, oh, lobby's clear. We have a guy in hut. There's no way that anyone's here. And then they walk into this dude who just mows down two. Aqua, what a response. Not only just 180 swivels gets that kill, but then even clears, fully clears that hut corner. A hard you know, corner to clear with so many rafters available. And then 4Ks the round. Boom, out of nowhere. Big win, a massive gun round. And Astralis are on their last legs in terms of economy. Those earlier one rounds won't give them much in the long run. Big. They are set up for what could be an 11-4. But no guarantees, eh? Looking like an A-crunch. Just contact flashes straight out the door, and it's only Noff here, the back of the site. Aqua and Lapex find the entries. Void's got this all tucked, but Lapex has no reason to move. Heaven is covered. Molly will do it. He's going to start to burn out and has to cross. Void hits the shot blinded. An attempt to get him out of there safe does go sour, and they're going to jump up hot roof to catch a repeak. No need to go back in in that two on three, right? Yeah, it's, it's awkward for Big Omen Academy because the bomb was dropped over at the door. So they had to work to get it. They're very content with getting fed that kill back into the two on two because with a minute oh, left, dude. they're looking at this. They're saying, look, boys, we still got plenty of time. We're not feeling the pressure. Let's turn this around. But Altex has remained one step ahead yeah. of this 
already over at ramp with the AWP, scoped up and Aqua on the receiving end. He never spotted Nick, but he's going to go back in, double dipping. Yeah, I don't think he needs to go here. He's told his teammate to go B. His teammate's already rotated lower. Vesta is in a perfect position to win the round right now. Lovely stuff by Altex, just one, and that's all he needed as his teammate finishes off the job. Five rounds found for Astralis. And okay, yeah, it gets a bit scary in that three on two when they give up a unnecessary kill, but that two on two is played perfectly, right? Three rotate to B. Altex not going too far, only getting the one for one and then living. It's a really nice round out of Astralis there. Five to eight. And that 11-4, vanish it or vanquish it from your mind. It's not happening big. Instead, they had to win that round. They chipped away at the economy until they could break it. And as soon as they got to the breaking point, Astralis showed up. So Glock's now on the T side. And hell, maybe some Deegs too. Aqua will do it all for you, man. He'll get you rounds. He'll give you boosts and try to set you up. Now, as he just fed Nick to the wolves, there is this AWP over here towards CT. And luckily enough, Nick is still alive. There you go, waiting close to the doors. And if these swing open, it's a very bad day for Lapex. <laughs> Oh no. oh no, it's gonna happen. It's waiting it? to happen. It's gonna happen. Vigo with the with the spray down. We can call it in advance. It's gonna happen. Here it is. Double up, only two. Okay. Prime taps in with one on the Deagle. And now Nuffy starting to feel the pressure at the back of the site. We'll hold on. The door play grinds to a bit of an awkward halt here. And once more, Big Omen Academy are doubling back. They're going to recommit. They're going to go back down through the vents into this B bomb site, looking for a plant. And Prime Taps is even Ooh. waiting to try shut down rotation. This is a dangerous play, but I think he might get away with it. If he went straight for the bomb plant, he would have had it as well. But now these rotates are in. Does he go back up the vent? Is he playing with his food? Oh my goodness, what a play for Big. They have just manipulated the minds of Astralis talent, but his vent timing is everything. And Noffy, he's missed the shot. He's missed the chance. He's given up the flank. Inside of the huts, it's Prime Taps trying to hunt it down, and Nuffy is ready for the kill, leaving Aqua post plant 1v3. Regains that heart control. Nuffy's going door, and he's heard him. He's on for the backstab right now. It's an open plant for main. Aqua's got to swing that door wide open, though, and that will draw the alarms. Knife out, and oh no! Aqua hits the shot, sees another, oh. but it's a headshot from above. The orb saves Astralis talent. That was almost around. Almost, right? And and really, if it wasn't for Void Ooh. hitting that quick flick with the AWP, that still could have been Aqua's round, man. He was feeling it. Last round of the first half, and Astralis talent are well on the ways to recovery, man. Like, you know, considering how this half could have been the 11-4, as you mentioned, they'll take a 7-8 split. Yeah, I like the fake out there for Big, right? You can see Astralis panicked a little bit with that with that drop on B, but even so, very late rotate back up the vent to try and get a bomb plant. And the bomb plant has at least netted all the weaponry you need. Aqua from the vent drop, yet again, is coming in on the ramp flank. But you can see Altex has been dispatched to deal with him. Timing, however, could not be worse for Altex. Oh, he checks it again. Oh, I, I got scared there for a second. You think he's just walked by Aqua, but doubles back and deals death. It's Lapex getting the refrag with the orb, putting things even yet again. Vigo very lucky to be full health right now. Crosses through the door spam. Even sends a parting gift their way, but doesn't reach its destination. Big back to ramp. Maybe this has not been a good position for them. Altex has been... Uh, sublime on the ramp. Every single hold. At least going one for one. If not going, you know, 1-0 and then dropping down into B. 
there's the first man. That's the bomb as well. A lot of information, even with only one kill found. Now you know that ramp room's taken. The bomb. And the bomb is the bomb. still in ramp. They ah. do need to go back and get it. They've got 20 seconds oh, and they they're taking know. B and they don't realize. Boys, ah. you can't actually win this anymore. Oh, they're going back, but it's very far away. It's fallen so this. far. And they do kills. win the fight on B. That's one of the things that matters. But the bomb's only just coming in. Ten seconds. They're running with it. They're going to get it down in time, I think. They're just arriving. And the plants come in. Oh, cover. With half a second to spare. Bomb plant for Big <laughs> Omen Academy. <laughs> and talk about leaving it to the Ooh. wire. Now it's just Nuffy in the 1v2. My God. And they waited so long before they realized that as well. Nuffy, can he save the day? Can he do what the clock couldn't? And it's against him now. Flash out. No reason for anyone to change their spots. Nice open plant. Nofi hunting the kills now. Moving in. And immediately domed by Nikkei. Nine to six. All right, big. They show us something uh, pretty impressive on the T side of Nuke. They take the lead by Storm. And despite <laughs> even dropping the bomb back on top ramp. Remember, we have different minimaps to them on, on their side. It looks, oh, the bomb's just in front of us or something. Nope. Whole floor above. Really good half, though, for Big. I mean, we saw some bright signs for Astralis. I think their rotates were actually really impressive. The comms are good. Couldn't win every round, but uh, did sneak a few blinders past, such as this one. But ultimately, Big are going to be very happy with that. 9-6. Looking for their second scalp of the tournament already. Taking down all the big orgs, Harry, right? We're moving Na'Vi yesterday and now looking to do the same to Astralis. Yeah, man. If you drop the academies from the names, you know, you'd be thinking that you're like right in the middle of 2020 again with big wrecking Na'Vi and now maybe Astralis as well. Yeah, man, that'd be a big omen. <laughs> Man, though, this, this Big Omen Academy squad, you know, we said it a couple of times, but I do just want to reiterate it. These guys did not have a lot of time to piece everything oh. together, and that's what's making these runs from them that much more exciting. You know, while Fnatic Rising have been impressive in that regard, you know, you could, you could maybe say they've been up against stiffer competition so far, but... You know, Big Omen Academy, the one thing they have that, that Fnatic Rising don't is, well, hey, it would be two victories if they win this one. Yeah. And on top of that, it's clean victories more so than anything else. Yeah, so in a moment, we're jumping back into this second half. We're going to have a bit of team speak action now from Big. Let's see what they're chatting. <laughs> Können trotzdem Schacht gehen. Kommt Was vom Außen auf? Ich, ich geh CT Schacht. Der Außen nichts. Schild Bomb, Bomb einer tot. Na, Bomb ist raus. raus. Lass weg. Lass zurück, lass zurück, lass zurück. Lass zurück. Ja. Beide, 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 beide. Schild, Einfach schön, jetzt zurück. zurück. Pushen und ich geh links in die Ecke. Pushen. Beide. Beide Rampe, beide Rampe. Fuck. Äh, Kit liegt umgekehrt. Gehen sie runter? Weiß ich nicht. Silo gelegt. Schade. Bitte helfen Sie uns. Schade, Alter, hab gewischt leider. Ist all gut. No fear, man. Coming in big with the 4K on the pistol round. Forget the lead. Astralis have now carved a path to recovery. And I love that little ramp chase as well. It started so well for Big. They got all these early kills, but some team damage and gooshing going on. And Astralis just hunt them down. They realized Big couldn't actually get away. They couldn't actually get safe to hell to be. They had to be trapped close ramps. So Astralis, they do, a, they do a good job there. And now anything's possible in the second half. Yeah, I like how they're keeping it like really, uh, really slow thus far, you know, like they, they know that 
The odds are Big Omen Academy might have lent into a force by here, especially with the lead going their way and with how strong forces can be on this CT side of Nuke. So they're leaving nothing to chance. You know, they're not going to run at you in the opening segments of this round as much as Big would have wanted that. They're taking it very, very measured, holding on to lobby in the opening segments of the round, caring for like a hot rush or a lobby crunch from ramp and, you know, timing it with the A play. And now that they haven't seen that, this is where they're going to start setting up their utility. This is like very Astralis-esque, how they're approaching rounds like this. And so out into the A site they go now. They are not didn't get pushed early on. They've got this utility to help them on their way. Prime Taps is good for a kill and has started to disrupt this from the squeaky door. Oh. Two in the site. Aqua's MP9 oh. finds almost a double and he will convert. Suddenly it's only Altex. Not this went him. from a great start to a horrible finish. They're on the bomb. The spam. Finds the damage. Oh, he gets them off. But the trade is in. It is such a good try from Altex. You couldn't have asked for more out of him. But unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess, depending on who you're supporting here, Big Omen Academy are going to grab that round away. Oh, my goodness. The spam. You rarely see that kill coming in, right? I don't know how much by design that is. Maybe it is, right? He's coming in on a main luck with a, with a backside plant. But hell. That's a nice try. Just traded too quickly. A big steal that round. Big props to Aqua as well on the fast flank through the hut. Doubles up at the back of the site. And Prime Taps. Always worth a mention. Doing what he does best. Finding headshots somehow, some way. So double digits now for Big. First to find it. Four Glocks and a couple of Deagles as well. Just going to be moving outside here for Astralis, trying to cross quickly. No one's seen them. <laughs> they made it down scot-free. Do they walk? Oh, yes. Good decision to walk, right? No info for Big. Why give them the info? Although Big seemed to realize something could have happened. Maybe they heard one step from the garage. Aqua's already here, and he seems aware. Now Big is starting to, now Astralis is starting to make noise. They don't care anymore. They just want the bomb plant. And Aqua wants to do anything but let them have it. <laughs> Four kills! Oh, boy! Nice. Snappy! Can he get the ace? Yes! Yes, Aqua! Yes! There it is! The ace in the round! Jeez. And what an ace it was! 27 kills deep on Aqua! Mamma mia! I tell you what, man. You know, we've explored more of space than the oceans. Yeah, so? <laughs> I don't know the link. Where are you linking that? Well, Aqua's water. And maybe we should put more time into exploring the depths. If this is the kind of dirt we're able to find down there. Look at this. Oh, Look so at it. accurate, man. And then the calculated miss from Lapex so Aqua can have the yeah. round. <laughs> uh, uh, shout out to Lapex. Also, can I just say, of course, that happens from the Santoras spot on B. Like, oh. shades of big once oh. again. Vigo going to open this round ah, up. Though. Yes. Santara's dying at ramp. Oh, it, it really yeah, is. It around. really is a, a big classic. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. That's not how you want it to start, right? You're very hyped after the eco, but Astralis, that was only an eco. They don't care, man. They're fine getting ace. They're back in with a vengeance. And look at the pace. They've got yard. They've got lower. They've got ramp. Nowhere is safe. Altex, he's been a bit of a beast himself, hasn't he? Crossing late yard. No one's oh, looking. Prime Taps might get... Uh, oh, no, no. It's, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine, because... He's still here to backstab. Yeah. He's still here to stop the save. Don't go running CT, boys. It's not as safe as you think it is. Oh, Prime Taps, even with the AWP, is good for the headshots. Okay. For me, I can't help but be a fan of Prime Taps. I find it just happening without meaning to. I'm that drawn to what the headshot percentage numbers tell me. I'm like a moth, like I'm all I can think about, <laughs> you know, like, you know, like moths would just like fly into a lit flame or something just because yeah. all they're thinking about is like, damn, I need some of that light. Well, I just what, what is it I, with light? And is it is it? It's not heat, is it? It's light. I couldn't tell you, mate. They just love it. It's like heroin to them. OK. <laughs> yeah, where were you going with that point? Well, I'm like that, but to headshot percentage. Okay, so I sure. don't care like what anything else looks like. I just want the big HS yeah. percentage number. So, so what you're saying is you would lose a game 
as long as he kept you 100% headshot. Of course. Even if that you literally was one know kill. that about me. Even if it was only one kill. You got you, the one kill that you, you DC. Know, you know that about Man's me. Man's going to get in a show match finally, an HLTV official show match. He's going to get one headshot. He's going to quit and go, well, I've got the highest headshot percentage on HLTV. Ever. Yeah, ever. Eat your heart out, screen. Look at this. Prime taps back again. Looked like he was about to get pressured through door, and he still is. Here's the push. Oh, oh um, melted by Astralis. Oh. Are big. They're on the receiving end of one hell of an A take there. And, you know, considering you saved to put the investment into that round, you were hoping you could have found a bit more out of it. Instead, you're dealt nothing more than an A rush with a full exec out of uh, Astralis talent, and it just melts you like butter. Yeah, I love that when you throw in the little vent smoke, the, the front door smoke, where it looks like you're just lurking, maybe boosting vent, maybe dropping, and then you play inside of it and you have these flashes come through the skylight. So you're already basically out in the A site, but the CTs can't see you until, well, the flashes come in and then they definitely can't see you. Nine rounds now and even some hunting going on. Void won't managed to take down the AWP, but I admire the attempt. You've got a bit more money, a bit more breathing room now if you're Astralis, so you can afford to be throwing bodies uh, to try and take away guns. Unfortunately, not able to do so. Big, however. Oh, they've dropped guns. I guess they're buying here. It's a risky one. But actually, no, it, it should be just fine. Some extra money on one. So... Yeah, it's a full buy as far as we're concerned. Shotgun included, but can definitely do some damage in the right position here on Nuke. Apex outside with the orb. We've not seen much in the yard for this Astralis talent roster, not yet. Managed to get that free cross in the eco round, otherwise not been too interested. Main wrap here. Is it another one of these A takes? It looks like it. Lots of util going in A. You could fake this out and end ramp still, but already walking into the AWP is Vesta. The lurker gone. No main split forces your hand at ramp, and luckily there's no one here. They've already dropped B. Oh, yeah. Flashing hell, but not committing to challenging for this. They want the B play. Aqua is the man to get past. With the swing, there's one for Aqua, but he's traded after that. So a four on three retake and the heavy hitter has been removed from it. Aqua now at almost 30 kills deep has got to sit back and watch as the rest of his team try to finish this round off in favor of Big Academy. Bombs ticking against them. Post plant set up for Astralis talent. And now the retake looking to come in. Yeah, Noffi cutting off the one late secret player. The rest coming in from ramp. Prime Taps looking for exactly that. And what accuracy. It's the AWP on Void getting hunted down. And Void hits all the oh! shots he needs. Three kills and one left fighting on the bomb. Void oh, misses, no! but it gets off the defuse. And the round is lost. It's a done deal. That could have been it. With a whiff shot from Void. If only he stuck If he was still sticking it, that would have been the round. Yeah, he had a kit and everything. Glaive could have won it. It's so sad. But obviously, like, he's never to know that. You're not expecting you know, the guy who just wrecked your three teammates in, you know, split seconds yeah. apart to then miss the shot on you, the stationary target. Oh, just that's hurts, a weird man. round. Just it's hurts. a weird round. And Prime Taps as well. He'd already done so much to make that happen. You thought the double kill. He dealt with the bulk of the players. Like, you thought that was going to be enough. We're getting some great rounds out of this match. Yeah. This is what competitive game. Like, to be fair, we've had, you know, close games, but often they've been one-sided and then that team just can't close and it's a comeback and it's this and that. No, oh, this man. has been I, from the from round one, just trading rounds, trading back and forth. One of the things that has been great about this is and I know that for folks watching at home, they're feeling it as well. Like you, you can't help but be impressed with the sheer level of counter-strike we're getting out of these teams. Yeah. 
for, for not only just their ages, which you know is obviously one one note, but lack of experience, right? And most of these guys haven't, you know, especially for big, haven't played HL TV matches before. Oh, Prime taps more headshots, give them a chance. Astralis, though, nice grenade from Nick, but it's not going to change much as his B-Site gets taken. Lapex could stop everything here and now, and he even gets hit by the orb. The Molotov, run! Two health, the difference. He will live, but he's going to concede it. Scared of a nade following up on ramp to finish him off. He might even save. It's going to depend on whether Aqua can get a kill. Oh, 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 that's free. Don't give Aqua free ones. This guy is bad enough when you're fighting him. Oh, that was almost the double. Altex will trade it, and thankfully so, right? Or else that could have slept through Astralis Talon's fingers. Instead, they tie the game up at 11 11. And now Big Omen Academy is starting to get a little worried. I will say, in the orping head-to-head, -head, it feels like, especially as of late, Void has been the guy yeah. finding the bulk of success there. Also, Lapex we're betting, struggling a yeah, little. He is start Lapex is starting every round outside, which, you know, is fine if you're getting chances. Like, maybe he's killed a lurker here and there coming in on main, but it's not like Astralis are running yard rounds, right? They are uh, they are focusing very heavy on these A hits, a full util A setups, on these ramp plays. Like, okay, occasionally they'll go down secret, but it's not enough to warrant well, always having your op out here. Might not, be time for Lapex to start swapping it up. Not only that, they're not like running outside XX and, and you know, like even giving him the fight. They're not challenging Garage if they are going outside, right? They're throwing the smoke wall and they're just bypassing the AWP player. So it does feel like he's kind of getting cancelled out right now. Yeah, and Void and Post Plants has been insane as uh, on this AWP as well, right? Just picked up that big clutch. Here's the fake smokes, and this is a great round to run in. They have been crossing behind, as you say, so Big don't know. They're going to already panic rotate. They're going to put Aqua down on B. That's fine. It leaves ramp open, however, as we said. If you want to look for silver linings, Hugo, it's the, the outside smokes have forced Lapex to fall back and take up position at Hell. So he's now at this A site a lot faster than normal. Oh. And with him set up, this AWP chiming in with a kill, can he make the difference? The rotations are coming up through the vent and look at Astralis talent, they're being so slimy, but oh, Aqua gonna deny the slime. Lapex over at ramp, can't quite put a stop to the ramp control. Vesta. And Void, it's the two Vs. Never mind the two Ds of Astralis, they're gone. We're talking about the double Vs now. Aqua silences one of them. Vesta trying to trade it, but Aqua been stellar today. Will get overwhelmed. A 1v2 for Vesta to try and find. The only problem he's got is no idea where either of these players are. Yeah, so you may as well stick the plant, right? Nothing to lose and everything to gain. They've got a volley to push him out, but they line up. And luckily the trade came in. Got scared there. The big were getting ahead of themselves in that two on two, or two on one rather. And uh, another big round from Aqua as well. Lovely little hold. He drops ramp immediately, right? Comes up vent, flanks the ramp play. Like, what on earth? The ramp player is killing you on a flank. And then it may be, it is able to drop down B in time to, you know, trade one for one in lower in that 2v2. So, yeah, really, or 2v3. Nice stuff for Aqua. He's showing up to be a beast. Not just that ace. He's 30 kills plus in this map. And we're not done. We're nowhere near done. You think we've had overtimes already? Well, this is a game set out for one. I haven't checked the numbers, but I'm just doing it on feeling because I'm 99% sure I'm right. This is the best performance in regulation we've had out of anyone in terms of numbers. 32 kills deep. And there's still, you know, six rounds left to be played. You heard of my man, Regali? Yeah, but his wasn't in uh, in regulation. No, no, I'd try to remember how many it was in reg. I Probably think he, not this. He got up to like 29 in regulation. Okay. Sneaky smokes. Now, remember, Astralis faked these last round and they, they didn't cross anyone behind. So, you know, big again, don't really know. It's, it's, it's unsure. It's uncertain right now. Lapex does put his AWP in the hut and that's a nice play. But no one there, unfortunately. He really is just getting dodged. No matter what he does, Astralis go elsewhere. And uh-oh, Nick down on B. Here's him coming from both sides. Shotgun time. And he's done some damage at least. That can get Aqua. capitalized on by Aqua, who doubles up once again. Feels like that's all too familiar. Big O and Altex. Big O's walk past event player. But that could be to his betterment. Double wrapping back, bomb getting tapped, laved. Oh, the timing, catching him looking the wrong way. All on Altex now. Yeah, and a big 1v3 getting asked of him. 
He is a player at ramp, so he's going to look for this engagement first. Looking to isolate this one-on-one -on -one before he even begins to worry about the other two. With him not finding that, though, they know where he is now, and they're moving into this bomb. Smokes on it, defuse being held, and oh. Altex dead at the hands of Glaive. So the defuse puts 13 on the board for Big Omen Academy. And, all, and Aqua's scoreline just continues to swell here. Yeah. 34 and 16. Guy's almost rocking a 2 and 0 KD for crying out loud. That is filthy, isn't it? It's over. But there's still more rounds yeah. to be played. Mate, maths is yeah, not I my could, strong point. I could bro. tell. Almost. Normally it is. Yeah. But not today. Wow. Well, you can pick it up in other ways, Harry. Either way, forget the maths. So right now, these rounds are favoring big. Astralis need to sneak one pass. It's been trading back and forth for a while. Now, finally, big is starting to build in, and Astralis are on eco. Aqua dropping B, and then chasing him as well. He's going to get another ace. One, so only two. But there's a gun now. There's hope for Astralis talent to make this round interesting still. Oh, Nick, try and deny that bomb. Oh, dead to Vigo on the swing. And now that bomb plant's allowed, a three on three. Aqua's double might not have been enough after all. Time to breathe here if you're Astralis. Big on in a hurry, they do have kits. Glaive coming in, he's got to clear close right. This is a hard angle to deal with. Altex pushes up though, and Glaive gets a freebie. Void does not have the weapon for the job, and now he's been burnt out into the open, leaving just Vigo. One kill, tries to double up, but he runs out of ammo, and it's the USP to close. Another retake for Big Omen Academy. 14 rounds found. You can see them getting hyped now, as this game is well within reach. But don't count your chickens before they hatch, Harry. No, that, that is one of the Ten Commandments, isn't it? So, <laughs> you know, you don't want to be caught doing that. No. Stralis talent running out of opportunities, running out of steam, running out of chances to get back into this game. And you can hardly blame them. It must feel surprisingly easy for Big Omen Academy when you've got a guy like Aqua who's willing to do so much in the round that, like, really, you know, uh, there's often this joke line that I say when we're playing. I'll say, like, everyone just needs to get one kill. It's that easy. Yeah. But in a way, like, that is that is uh, not even required here from the Big Omen Academy players. <laughs> Aqua is pretty much guaranteed a double kill every single round. So it's like, guys, look, as long as we're trading evenly on the rest, we should be on to a winner. Yeah, and sometimes even more than that from Aqua. So one hell of a regulation game right now. 36 kills. More and more by the minute. See, normally I would have been talking about the config kill yeah, record by now, God, but it's, it doesn't actually work here. So He doesn't have anywhere near enough rounds. I don't know. If, if Astralis talent started winning some, yeah, that would sure, help him sure. out. If he's 3Kng and losing, sure. Uh, let's let's not even run down that road till he's hit 40, Harry. We're going to be waiting a while there. How old is he now? Like, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean. God damn it. Down B go Astralis. This time, it's a change of pace. It's the same smokes, but it's a faster speed, and they beat Aqua 2B. Aqua, you don't know just how far they've gotten, and they are running wild on the B site. This time, only one, but instead, it's Lapex to come down and help out, keeping things in the favor of Big. If you want to cross out B, you're going to have to use utility, and that is the one thing Astralis don't have. Oh. Only flashes, so they try and take fights, and it's not going well for them. Void isn't given the kill back onto the AWP. This sucks for Void, man. He just wants this fight. Like, he wants you to peek him. It's the only way he could have gotten a trade. And with that fight not being given over, Big Omen Academy are just being so stingy with this now. A four on two, and they're doing anything to throw this man, uh, sorry, to not throw this man advantage away. Those are very different things. Yeah. So here we go, crossing outside, being held. By the man back in garage, Prime Taps lays him to rest, and it's left on to Void with this orb. Gonna make oh, a bit dear. of a play outside, but he's getting wrapped. Two players peeking him, very aware from Big Omen Academy what was going on, what was trying to take shape in that two on four, and they stop it before Astralis Talent are even in a position to recover. Yeah, credit where credit is due for Astralis Talent. They've had some really nice rounds. They held on really well in this game, despite uh, the half going 9-6. They... Paul Pistol, etc. back, but 
even 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 so big they're here to play and they're doing it in a massive way let's see if they can celebrate a victory here we're going to jump into their team speak for what could be the final round du machst hier mal und hab dies mal auf drop smoke Molo hat. Ich hab Trophy Kontrolle. Nichts direkt. runter, nichts runter, nichts. Ich hab Trophy. Außer Jungs. Smokes, die können wieder runter mit Smokes. Ich, ich, ich geh, ich geh hier in die Ecke. Ich kann nicht schieben. Argo. Argo, Argo. Wir haben hat. Hat. Nein, 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 Sick, Alter. Auf geht's. Sick. Sick, Junge. Sick. Ihr seid Maschinen, Alter. Ehrlich, gut gespielt, Mann, die letzten Runden. Bis